I was just preparing myself all, all throughout camp, uh, just praying and uh, waiting for my chance, and I finally got it. Uh, and I felt like I made the best of it. When were you told you were going to be the target? Um, I was told I was going to get my shot uh, in the Alabama game that Sunday. Uh, Coach Womack told me I was going to run with the ones. Uh, so I, I had time to get my mind right and to prepare. How about getting your chance <laughs> against Georgia? Uh, a bunch of guys you know very well. Um, it was perfect timing. Um, I didn't really focus on that part so much. Uh, I just wanted to focus on the game plan. And as a defense, we wanted to finish. So that was what my mindset was on. Was it, was it hard not to think about that, though, that you were once part of that program? Um, well, it was, I mean, obviously, I thought about it. Um, I mean, it gave me the extra oomph that I needed when I stepped on that field. Um, but that's about it. But other than that, I was focused on the game plan and focused on finishing. Talk about the process of getting acclimated to this defense. I mean, you got here in the summer, and mm -hmm. there's got to be a learning curve to it. Uh, yeah, it was it was a learning curve. Um, when I was at Iowa, when I went to Juco at Iowa Western, we ran – a uh, similar defense, uh, but the biggest thing that I had to get used to was playing out in space and three by one and stuff like that. But other than that, it was it was pretty simple. Yeah. So, go ahead. Uh, Coach Free said you guys get too many rushing yards for, for his comfort. Just what do you guys need to do better other than the fits and stuff? Uh, well, we need to do better. I, I mean, obviously, we need to fit better. Uh, we need to fit our gaps and communicate. I feel like uh, the more we communicate, the better we will. What do you feel you did good, and what do you feel like you have to do better as the season progresses? Um, I feel like I, I did good with um, filling the gaps. Uh, I did bust in coverage a couple of times. I feel like uh, I can get better at my coverages and just being a vocal leader. Does your size make make it difficult to cover, Dietrich? Is that uh, um, I don't believe my size make it difficult. I mean, I obviously got to play to my strengths and my weaknesses. Um, I feel like uh, the bad, what I know that I'm doing, the better I know what I'm doing, the better off I am. Uh, I don't see my size playing a factor in it at all. When you when you left Georgia and went to the junior college, did you were you pretty confident that you'd get another chance at, at this level? Uh, I wasn't. Uh, I mean, I had to step out on faith, uh, and that was the crazy thing. I didn't know where I was going to end up, but what I knew was that I wanted to work hard and I wanted to prove to myself that I could play this game at a high level. So, what was the process of getting to Old Miss? How did you get in contact with them? How did how did that start? How did you end up here? Um, well. <clears throat> I was committed to Middle Tennessee out of JUCO. Um, I was taking, I want to say like 60 some, not 60 some credit hours, but a lot of credit hours in JUCO. Mm -hmm. And I ended up failing my one class, and uh, I was I wasn't eligible for Middle Tennessee. So that word got out, and then Ole Miss found out, and then that's how I got in contact with Ole Miss. So, so did they contact you like late? I know you were a late addition to the signing. Yeah, it was, it was late. It was um, after March. Or really? during March. Did the junior college experience uh, help you get prepared for this? Um, yes, the junior college experience uh, helped me work on the little things, um, working hard, working on my technique, working on my eyes, um, and just appreciate the little things uh, that you get with being at a, a big school like this. 